smell has gone in the canal. It's always nice, but then you've got a very smelly dog afterwards, I should say. Not that I'm a big fan of the way dogs smell at the best of times, but after they've just come out of the Grand Union Canal, I'd imagine that it's worse than ever. I'm not tempted really to keep a dog. And that beautiful red, red version of the horse chestnut over there is really quite beautiful as well. Right, maybe that's enough for today. Well, the, the plant under this tree is a lot of neophytes. These plants are plants that typically exist on lands that have been turned over, even though they're next to old ch horse chestnuts in, uh, in flower, which are obviously these are older trees. 60, 80 years old, maybe 100. Um, these, nevertheless, plants are so that some turning over of this land has happened fairly recently, probably to do with the building that's been going on on the Kodak building here. Probably there's a lot of new land or new rubble being put or some new soil being put on the top without it being planted, and so you've got the neophytes there. Here you have the new, what's called the image building, which is largely, there's some offices, you can see offices one half of it, and residential going up the other, which I think is an amazingly good idea. Um, it's really got me thinking as to the way forward as far as what future cities should look like, people being able to avoid um, undue wastage of time and energy, getting from um, work to, to home, and home to work. Um, some people's, well, of course some people enjoy their drive to work, but uh, for lots of people it's uh, an amazing waste of their resources, of what they've earned by working, and it adds to the day spent away from what they'd like to be doing. And even though people don't realise, because it's a little bit every day, maybe for some people it's an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening, you add that up over your life, if you're spending an hour getting to work and an hour getting home from work, which is not unusual, a number of people watching this now will be nodding, saying, yep, yeah, that's me, or even longer. And there's been times in my life it's taken me a lot longer. I'm not talking about a walk to work, which takes an hour, which would be healthy, or anything else that you can do that can combine health-giving aspects as you go on the way to work. That would be much more advantageous. So I'm going I'm to have an hour's walk to work just about in my new office. I'm looking forward to that. But um, I could go by tram, alternatively, but I'd rather see if I can walk it as much as possible. But you take those just going in a car, just being stuck in a car, um, and take just two hours a day, five days a week, that's 10 hours a week, that's 520 hours a year. You can learn a language very well in 520 hours. So a language a year, over the course of a 20 year working life, and people think that's something fantastic that I speak 20 languages. My people take the same time just over commuting. If you have future um, cities where people don't need to, to waste that time in commuting, well then they can use it on developing their, the things that they would like to do, spending time doing what they'd like to do. So you've got office and retail units and you've got residential, clearly you've got residential as you can see people obviously being residents up there on their balconies. So this building here, this complex, if you like, here, based on the old Kodak building, from when Kodak was a big deal. Now there's interesting. This is now flooded. And that is where I used to walk through and drive through on my bike. Whether I ever will in the future, I don't know, but it's clearly full now of aquatic plants. So it's obviously been flooded more than one year. It's obviously flooded and they haven't been, been able to pump it out or they're not interested in pumping it out. This now, looking rather stagnant, has become the channel of the Gade. And I didn't expect that to have happened there. I used to walk through that very often, around, through all of this, and ride my bike there all through my childhood. Never did I imagine that I would look down into this and see it full of the water of the Gade. Not only the gate having invaded it, if you like, but having been allowed to stay down there. You can see the rail where people used to walk down and ride their bikes down, and now it's aquatic plants all the way. 
and if you it's it's quite clear water you can see right the way down through you know a good meter of depth of water and uh, it doesn't look very nice because it looks rather stagnant with that growth down there and that the algal growth doesn't look healthy and I don't see fishes darting around in it like you'd expect but presumably you know and here and there you could there's no flow that's the problem with that it's not flowing at all neither is the wind getting down to it to really break up the water surface so I wouldn't call that a healthy thing if I was at the point where I wanted to for example give a I suppose the only way to do this is to walk a little around down to the, those traffic lights and follow that road up but I really didn't expect that The gate joins the Bullbourne further across there by the canal. I didn't walk by it today. But there you go. I didn't expect that. So there we go. This is a new image complex. Kodak used to be, before digital photography took over, a much bigger company with much bigger turnovers than it is now, relative to the economy in total, that is. Um, and now, of course, it's not needing quite so many buildings and they've been reutilized. So around the old Kodak building, you've now got the new Kodak building built. The old Kodak building still there inside that building, a very well structured, over structured old building, skyscraper, but with the new units lightly structured around it, leaning against it as it were, and uh, using the old structure in the middle. So there we go. There's Debenhams, and there's a new footbridge going over the whole thing. Maybe I should have tried to use that, but I don't know how to get onto it. So that's where I'm headed next. You're